Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's wonderful to be found in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. The last few hours in 2021. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 You may take your seats. Hallelujah. Woo! We are excited. I am excited. Hallelujah. God is so wonderful. God is so good. Hallelujah. And I want you to just enjoy the presence of the Lord in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. There is no safer place to be than to be in the house of the Lord. Oh, God is so good. He has kept us. He has loved us. He has shown us his mercy. He has been with us. He never left us. He never forsook us. Glory be to God. And I'm here today to just give thanks unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are there people here that are full of thanksgiving for what the Lord has done for them? Hallelujah. In this year. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Before I go any further, I want to acknowledge our Father, the Bishop of the House. Hallelujah. We love our Father. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Do we just rise up and just give a talk for our God in the house? Amen. Amen. We need to feel sick. Amen. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful evening, wonderful night, glory be to God, moving from 2021, flying over and crossing over into 2022, amen, amen, so like I said, I am here to give thanks on behalf of Christian Life Center, on my own behalf, and on behalf of, you know, everyone here in Jesus' mighty name. The word of the Lord says in Psalms 92, verse 1 and 2, It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. It is a good thing. It is a wonderful thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Glory be to God. The one who has given us life the reason why we are gathered in this manner today. The one who has given us the voices even to praise him. The legs to dance. Hallelujah. The bodies to just acknowledge him. Glory be to God. The Bible says we must never forget. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Hallelujah. And to show forth his loving kindness in the morning and also his faithfulness every night. So 24-7, a child of God must give thanks unto the maker, the creator, the one who brought you on the face of this earth. You did not bring yourself here, but he brought you here for a purpose. Hallelujah. And that purpose shall be fulfilled in your life in Amen. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory be to God. So without any further ado, I'll just go to what I had prepared here. 2021, our season of experiencing God's faithfulness. Hallelujah. Are there people in the house that have experienced God's faithfulness in 2021? Hallelujah. If you are there, just shout it all unto the Lord. We give him all the glory and all the honor. Amen. As Christian Life Center family, we are saying to the Lord, indeed, Father, you have been faithful and we have experienced your faithfulness in this year. As it was declared, hallelujah, in an evening just after crossing over into 2021, hallelujah, the word was given to our Father to say 2021 will be a season 
of experiencing God's faithfulness. Hallelujah. Taken from the word of God in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 9. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord declares, hallelujah, that God is faithful. Who has, God is faithful. Who has shown us his faithfulness through the fellowship with our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This faithfulness, you will not experience it without fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And throughout the year, that is what we have been doing as a church. Enjoying fellowship with God in our prayers, in the word that was ministered to us, teachings, glory be to God, being imparted with wisdom, hallelujah. Indeed, we experience the faithfulness of God. Many challenges that we have had the past two years, Hallelujah, with the pandemic and all that the enemy was trying to do. Hallelujah. And yet God remained faithful to his people. Hallelujah. We are here today because of his faithfulness. Many things happened. Many people, you know, lost their loved ones. Glory be to God. Some were hospitalized. But we are here to declare and say, God, you have been faithful. No matter what the enemy intended, you remain faithful. We are here today because of your faithfulness. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We've had many testimonies in the midst, you know, of challenges, pandemic challenges. We've had testimonies in the house. Hallelujah. People getting jobs, people being promoted, children being birthed, hallelujah. Businesses starting and flourishing, hallelujah. People buying cars, people going into homes, moving from tenants to being landlords, people getting married, hallelujah, because of the faithfulness of God, hallelujah. There is no challenge, people of God, that can go beyond what God is able to do. There is no challenge that can change God, that can change his faithfulness. Hallelujah. Neither can change his word. Let me tell you something. You are still here. It is because God has been good and God intended that you be here. Amen. And I want you to know that you are still going to be here for a very long time. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I said for a very long time. Our daddy says we are going to overstay. Hallelujah. Because why? The purposes of God in our lives shall be accomplished. Whether the devil likes it or not. Hallelujah. And that is the reason why we are here. Amen. So despite the lockdown and many restrictions, we have persevered, we have stood, we have endured, we have prayed. Glory be to God. And God has answered. Amen. Amen, children of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We continue with our weekly services on Sundays, midweek services on Wednesdays, youth services on Friday, deliverance prayers on Saturdays, hallelujah, and many other programs. When we couldn't meet physically due to, you know, whatever was put up as COVID regulations, the Lord still allowed us to continue in his word online and we experience the anointing of God online the presence of God glory be to God and today we are here so just to highlight some of the the, 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 the wonderful testimony just some of the testimonies that we had 
as a ministry. Glory be to God. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord testify. Glory be to God. And we are saying so. And making the devil nervous. Glory be to God. Because it is our God who saw us through in Jesus' mighty name. We began the year with 21 days of prayer and fasting. Prayers were held online and we finished with Holy Communion in our homes. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Fasting and praying online. And the Lord moved by his anointing, delivering people, healing people, strengthening us, motivating us. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we finish with Holy Communion in our homes. It was so wonderful. Some people, for some of uh, the people, it was their first time to have Holy Communion in their homes with their children. Hallelujah. And I hope that that was just the beginning of the many times you continued to do so. Amen. In Jesus' name. CLC as a ministry celebrated 19 years anniversary. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. 19 years. Amen. That is quite uh, mature. Amen. Do we have a 19 year old in the house? Do we have a 19 year old in the house? We don't have. Anyway, that is quite mature. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. In Jesus' mighty name. Looking back over the years, we can see that God has indeed been faithful. We had our Father's blessing with the Nambi, and the word was ministered virtually. And yet we received tremendous impartation. It was online, and the word was coming of blessing. Hallelujah. From our Father, the Nambi in Zambia. Glory be to God. And we were imparted with grace, higher grace, and favor, hallelujah, which we saw in the year. We also hosted our in-house Easter conference. It was wonderful. It was glorious. Amen. The women of excellence, CLC, they hosted their yearly uh, high tea events. Hallelujah. It was wonderful. Well done. Hallelujah. A lot of people came and we were so, so blessed. Amen. And in the year, the Women of Excellence also had two retreats, prayer retreats, which we hosted here in the house. Hallelujah. And at the time when we were doing the retreats, we were able to meet physically because God has answered our prayers. Amen. Amen. We had our Children of Destiny Sunday. Hallelujah. And we saw our children Amen, flourishing and showing us how it is done in the Children of Destiny out there. So make sure that if you have a little one, make sure that they are in the you know, Children of Destiny Sunday School. Hallelujah. Do not keep them in the main church. Amen. Because there they are taught according to their age. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. They also, for the first time, I think, in many years of CLC being there, they hosted a Christmas play. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was wonderful. Glory be to God. And we also had a dancing group performing just a few weeks ago from the Sunday School team. With the YWD, we had our youth conference, amen, which included CLC has talent. Glory be to God. It was wonderful. Hallelujah. We had our, 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 our family from Tembisa coming to participate, and it was just wonderful. 
the next one that we are going to have, please don't miss it. And please participate. Amen. Because there is talent right here in CLC, hosted by Niger PUD. Our branch in Malaysia celebrated their second anniversary. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! They are already in 2022 as we are talking. Hello? Hello? The faithfulness of God, the awesomeness of God, glory be to God. Our daughter was just blessing them a few hours ago. Amen. As they were entering into 2022. Amen. It was also this year that the Singles with a Vision ministry was blessed. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And it came with a bang. Hallelujah. At a wonderful, wonderful level. A lot of um, uh, ladies and gentlemen have joined. Amen. And we are believing God for marriages in the house. Hallelujah. Because God is so faithful. Amen. And they ended up with an, a year-end awesome hiking trip. Amen. Hallelujah. That mom and dad also attended with our singles with a vision. It was wonderful. It was my first time. I believe it was my husband's first time as well. And we walked five kilos. After it all, we were so fresh. I mean, we were so fresh, we could do another five. Glory be to God. So the next time, we are going to be there. And please don't stay at home and be bored. Because there's fresh air out there in the woods as you are hiking. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The men of integrity are they in the house today. Hallelujah. They also arose and did a number of maintenance projects in the house. Hallelujah. They hosted the men's month in September and it was at another level. It was excellently done. It was so orderly. The demos that we received, they were awesome. Hallelujah. For some of us who we were taught what to do. Hallelujah. How to do some minor maintenances in the house. It's not everything that you must pay for. Hallelujah. That's why God has given us a sound mind to be able to do some things. And the men of integrity taught us what we need to do. It was wonderful. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And they also showered us with roses and chocolates in August. Hallelujah. As we were celebrating Women's Month. Ah, are there women in the house? Are you going to give it all for the men of integrity? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It was wonderful. Not many churches do what we do in CLC. And we give God the glory and the honor. Our father also started a program for married men called Happy Husbands Forum. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm sure many married women here that had their husbands attained, they can testify that things are at another level. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Can I hear an amen? amen. I said, can I hear an amen? amen? If your husband is not attained this coming year, make sure that you pay for him to attend. You will be blessed. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So marriages were empowered. Married couples also continued every month. Hallelujah. We had water baptism ceremony where nine members in the church were baptized. And we also had 11 babies dedicated in the year. Hallelujah. Woo! 
Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Most recently, we had our annual conference with Dadinangi and Archbishop Sitone come to bless us. Our annual conference, it was in, uh, I think, first week of December. Hallelujah. Wonderful, wonderful conference. We were so, so blessed. And we concluded that conference with a Thanksgiving service. It was wonderful to hear testimonies. Hallelujah. Of what the Lord has done in the house. Amen. Glory be to God. Last week we also had our Christmas Eve service, candlelight service, hallelujah, and now we are coming to the end of 2021, hallelujah, glory be to God, God has been faithful, hallelujah, our Father declared, is that all you can do for the Lord, for the life that you have given to you, hallelujah, hallelujah, Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. We have come to the end as it was declared by our dad. As we just crossed over, he said, I am going to see you again in 2021 crossover. And we are here. Hallelujah. I want to end up with this scripture in Psalms 107. A few scriptures, one or two. Verse 10. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Hallelujah. Verse 8. Oh, that man would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful ways to the children of men. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Hallelujah. 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 Are you blessed? Can you just rise up and give it all unto the Lord? Somebody who owes you a gift, ask them where is my gift. 
that and praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody say glory be to God. Somebody say I'm ready for the crossover in the name of Jesus. In the presence of the Lord. You may be seated and uh, take your Bible as you do. Amen. Uh, Pastor Chioni, you're welcome. God bless you. I'm good to see you here. I'm sure they welcome you before I came out. Amen. Uh, is there any other man of God in the house? Maybe there's a uh, pastor in the house. There's nobody else. Amen. Pastor Chioni is our son. He's a product of COC. Uh, we're so happy to see him here after some time. Uh, I'm sure you are you're still operating from Zim. Yeah, thank God for that. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So, don't, don't say you didn't send missionaries. Amen. Glory be to God. Are you in the house? There are many others uh, all over the world here and there. Amen. All right, I have two great things for you tonight. Uh, I want to talk to you about the anointing. The anointing to cross over. The anointing to cross over. We cross over by the anointing. Hallelujah. And it's important that you get a full anointing before you cross over. You see, you could have been in the bar drinking, and the next morning you are totally drunk, twisted, drunk, you are slow food. And uh, you have lost your way, maybe beaten, maybe broken, maybe knife wounded, maybe gun short, whatever. But because you chose to be in the house of the Lord, it means there's something you're looking for better than what is in the world. Hallelujah. Because you have decided I must cross over in the presence of God, number one, you have honored God. You have said to God, I will leave my house, I will leave everything else, I will not uh, associate with the worldly things, but I will rather be in the house of the Lord so that 2022 can be a good year for me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Number two, you desire a testimony. You want God to do something. You desire a testimony. So crossover is to say, I need a testimony. I want something to happen in my life. I want God to turn around my situation. Glory be to God. And so as I minister to you today, uh, being uh, the last day of the season, I want you to pay attention. I want you not to allow yourself to be disturbed. I want you to concentrate. Concentration allows you to activate the miraculous. When you lack concentration, you can miss the point of your breakthrough. Hallelujah. The Bible teaches us how Jesus was 12 years old. And at 12 years, when he was ministering, reading through the word of God, the listeners were concentrated. He picked up where he found himself in the book of Isaiah, and he read through, and the Pharisees and the people who were there were concentrating listening, paying attention. And at the end, they concluded, what kind of a boy is this one? Who could teach us in this time? Hallelujah. So I want you to concentrate because we have been through two years of struggle, suffering through the pandemic. Families have lost friends. People have lost jobs. Others have lost all sorts of things. And uh, in the two years of suffering, I believe that God will rise up and show himself strong in 2022 for our breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I believe that the suffering will come to an end. I believe that we shall enter a season where we shall experience a greater level of God. We shall see testimonies. We shall live in happiness. We shall live in joy, and God will show himself forth. When you study history, you realize that it was every time that there was a situation in the world that a revival came up. You notice that it was a time when hard times were there that God showed up. The Israelis were in slavery for many years, and at the point of their crossover, their life became better. 
So we can also trust God that our lives will become better. Hallelujah. So I want to share with you the purpose of the anointing as we cross over. Pillar number one, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our helper. The Bible says the Holy Spirit is our helper. He is also our comforter. By the way, as you watch us, we welcome you wherever you're watching us from. We believe God, that God is still faithful and there are greater things that God will do because only Him is God. So stay tuned, make comments, tag other people, share the link, whatever you need to do so that others may also cross over in this anointing in Jesus' mighty name. So pillar number one, the Holy Spirit is a helper and we need the help of the Holy Spirit. We need the help of the Holy Spirit more than the help of medicine, more than the help of the government, more than the help of any individual. We need the help of the Holy Spirit for revival. We need the Holy Spirit to help us in every area of our lives. In the area of finances, in the area of healing, in the area of restoration, in the area of peace, and any other area you can think of. You may be sitting and listening to me, you are saying, you know, I have lost a lot, I don't know. I even tried a man I knew at the workplace. He was a big man, he was running a certain company, I tried to force myself to ask whether I could get a slot, and he said they were not employed. So we need the Holy Spirit in every area of our lives. The Holy Spirit is our helper. Hallelujah. He is our personal helper. Each one of us. He can help me. He can help you. He can help your neighbor. He can help your brother. He can help your sister. He is a personal helper. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. One day I had the privilege to travel. And as I traveled with my wife, we went to a certain hotel. When we got to the entrance of the hotel, there was a man who rushed to us. He said, I am your butler. I'm here to pick your bag, take you to the room until you are comfortable. So he grabbed our bags, we got into the room, and uh, he put the bags there. Then he said, anything you need, you call me. So his purpose, his responsibility towards us was to help us in anything we wanted. However, the Holy Spirit is more than a human helper. The Holy Spirit is a personal helper to each one of us. And so therefore, we need to understand the purpose of the anointing through the presence of the Holy Spirit who is our helper. Glory be to God. So the Holy Spirit is here tonight to say, is there anybody who needs help in whatever the area? Is there somebody sitting here or watching me who needs help? You raise up your hand and you say, Holy Spirit, I need help in this particular area. The Holy Spirit is here to help you so that in 2022, you can testify of the help of the Holy Spirit. Many people know the Holy Spirit as maybe a bird. Others know the Holy Spirit as wind. Others know the Holy Spirit as fire. Others know the Holy Spirit as a comfort around them. Whichever way we know the Holy Spirit, I want you to know that ultimately, whether He comes as a wind, whether He comes as a bird, whether He comes as fire, He comes to help each one of us. Can I hear some willing people in this house for help? Yeah. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is the third person in the Godhead. He is the third person. There is God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And all are one. Hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit is a person. He manifests in different ways. The Holy Spirit being a person like you know Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, you need to know Him. The same way you love God the Father, you need to love the Holy Spirit. You need to say, Lord, I love you. You need to say, God Almighty, I love you. 
Did you say, Holy Spirit, I adore you as my helper? Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. So we have the privilege because Jesus, when he left, he says, I do not leave you desolate. I leave you in the presence of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is here to help us as we cross over into 2022. Now the Holy Spirit also operates through the oil called the anointing oil. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit also operates as we learn by winds. He can appear as wind. He can appear as a dove. He can appear in any form, but also through the oil called the holy oil or anointing oil. Amen. So Peter number two, let's look at this miracle oil. This oil. The miracle oil. I have a bottle here. This is oil. Amen. And we have packaged it. It's written anointing oil. Amen. So the oil was instructed by Moses. God instructed Moses. If you have time, you can read it yourself in the book of Exodus. How to package this oil. So God comes to Moses and says, Moses, prepare this oil in this manner. After Moses had prepared the oil, he was also instructed how to use it. Because now the oil that Moses had prepared is no longer ordinary oil. It is divine, miraculous oil ordained and endorsed by Jehovah Almighty. Hallelujah. So the anointing oil is power-packed oil in the presence of the Holy Spirit. The anointing oil you are going to receive tonight and the anointing has a purpose over your life. It has a purpose for you to cross over correctly. The anointing oil allows the Holy Spirit to manifest in your life in many ways. We've just learned that the Holy Spirit is our helper. You need help, maybe financially. Maybe you need help to get married. Maybe you need help to be promoted. Maybe you need help to be a strong Christian. Maybe you need help to be anointed to minister the word of God. The Holy Spirit has said to us, like God spoke to Moses and said, package the oil, then anoint certain individuals. And in the anointing of those individuals, we see progress in their lives. We see the miraculous happening in our lives. And this is what we are preparing for in 2022. Exodus chapter 29 and verse 7. Exodus chapter 29 and verse 7. Then you shall take the anointing oil and pour it on his head. Then you will take that same oil and pour it. Pour it on the head. 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 Take that oil and apply it on the head. The Holy Spirit is our helper. So the word here says, take the oil and pour it on the head. So as the oil is poured on the head, the Holy Spirit comes to help that particular individual. If you are in the crowd and I recognize there is that, that, somebody there, I will not recognize you until I see your head. You will not recognize anybody until you see the head of that person. Then you say, yes, that is uh, so and so. Hallelujah. So he says, take the oil, pour it on the head. The same oil that you have prepared as a human being, now take it and pour it on the head. 
pour it on the head. Bless it on the head. Anoint the man. Anoint the woman. Anoint the individual. Anoint that family. Pour it on the head. Hallelujah. Are you in the house? The Holy Spirit will help you in 2022. Then we go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse number 13. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse number 13. The Lord shall make you the head. The Lord shall make you the head. So you are not the head until the oil is poured on your head. Pour the oil on the head. As you pour the oil on the head, that individual becomes the head. Hallelujah. Some of you need to be tired of what you have gone through. You need to say, I am fed up of the things that the enemy has tried in my life. I want to believe God. I want to trust God to be the head. To rise and be recognized. To become a somebody in my life. So he said, take the same oil, Moses, and put it on the head. Over that simple woman. Over that simple man. Over that individual who, who whatever they are going through. As you pour the oil on their head, the Lord, the Holy Spirit, will make that individual the head. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. I said glory be to God. Amen. A lot of you will become heads in 2022. Amen. I guarantee you in Jesus' name. Amen. So the oil carries the power of the Holy Spirit. The oil carries the presence of God for us to become the head. No longer the tail. No longer the last. No longer the laughing stock. But now you rise up to become the head. Put your hand on your head. Say my head is ready for the anointing. Hallelujah. So the oil carries the promises of God. It carries the promises of God. The promises of healing. The promises of restoration. The promises of favor. The oil carries our prosperity. In 2022, I have prayed over and over. is poured. So when I look at you, I must look beyond seeing just the oil. The oil may shine on your head, but in the supernatural, the helper is working through your head to raise you. The Holy Spirit is operating in your life for 2022. As we know the story when we read it in Exodus, then the Bible says this one is for generation. So as you are being anointed, it doesn't cover for the next year and the other year and the other year. You have to continue to be anointed because every month is a season and every new year is a season. Every quarter of the year is a season and we don't know what that season has. So in order to enter graciously in the season, as we are entering in the season of 2022, we need the help of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Let me talk to you about maybe five benefits of the Holy Spirit, of the anointing. And then we may stop because of the time when we are about to celebrate and continue. Number one benefit is protection. Number one benefit is protection. The anointing is the help of the Holy Spirit upon our lives for protection. There's a verse I have loved so much over and over. It's Numbers chapter 23, verse 23. So the anointing comes to do what? Protect us. 
Some of you are still scared of Corona. When by accident somebody has shaken your hand somehow, you wash like you have never washed your hands because of fear. Hallelujah. When your workmate has been diagnosed with Corona, you are ending up with sleepless nights. You are thinking it's coming on you. So you need the protection of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You need the protection of the Holy Spirit. Glory be to God. Protection from sickness. Protection from accident. Protection from witchcraft. Protection from arrows of Satan and his demons. Protection from car accident. Protection from gunshots. From armed robbery. The anointing brings protection upon our lives. Are you in the house? Amen. Are you still in the house? Amen. Can I see all those who trust God for protection? Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Numbers 23, 23 says, Surely there is no enchantment. What is enchantment? Enchantment is when certain people don't like you and they target you. And they say, let's get me. Let's get her. You may not even be known to them. You are just passing by. And by your passing by, the demons are provoked in their lives. And they say, let's get him. And so the Bible says, through the anointing, there is no enchantment. There is no grouping of demons that will identify you as a target to be a victim of their mercenary. Are you in the house? Yeah. In 2022, I do not want to hear that any one of you has been shot by a bullet, that any one of you has died of witchcraft, that any one of you has been robbed in any form. I come against it in the name of Jesus. I'm in authority tonight. Hallelujah. If you believe with me, you just agree. The Bible says what is agreed, it will be agreed in heaven. Especially when you agree with the set man in the house of God. So there is no enchantment or divination. What is divination? Divination is when you come from a certain background and there is a family member, an aunt who doesn't like you. They are jealousy for some reason. They have their own reasons why they are unhappy about you, about your success, about your way of life, about your peace, about your joy, whatever it is, that is divination. And so sometimes they go to a wizard to consult. They take a picture from your album and they show this one. Can we target him? Whatever it is, all the work of the devil, you don't have to understand it. But all you know is that there are certain people, family members, some of them already far away from you. But whenever they think of you, they think evil about you. And the Bible says there is no divination. That comes by protection as a benefit that the boy will give you tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that means as you are anointed, there will be a resistance against satanic forces. Amen. There will be a presence of God that is fighting against demons that wants to afflict you. That is what protection is. Like a policeman who joins uh, the police force and is given a, a, a bulletproof uh, vest. So when the policeman is wearing that bulletproof vest, there's a resistance. You can throw a knife, it will bounce. You can shoot, it will bounce. There is a resistance. So the anointing causes resistance against a certain over our lives. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? The anointing is a resistance against satanic forces over your life, especially 2022 in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. May that resistance work for you Amen. in the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. I'll give you number two, then we'll celebrate the new year. Number two, the anointing is authority over Satan and demons. The anointing is authority over Satan and demons. Luke chapter 10 and verse number 19. Luke chapter 10 and verse number 19. Behold, I give you power. Behold, I give you power. I don't give you money, but as I give you power, you will have money. I don't give you a house, but as I give you power, you will have a house. I don't give you medicine for your body, but as I give you power, you will have a health life, you will have a divine life in Jesus' mighty name. So he says, behold, I give you power. Power to do what? To tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Who is the enemy? Satan and his demons. Who is the enemy? Little Lucifer and his devils. Who is the enemy? The one you don't see with your eyes called little Satan. That is the enemy. The one when something has gone wrong and you cannot explain what happened. There was an enemy behind in the spiritual realm that you couldn't see with your eyes but you can see the manifestation of what has happened and say something went wrong here. An enemy showed up called little Satan. So he says I give you power. I give you power over this enemy. Hallelujah. I give you power over this enemy to tread on serpents and scorpions. And then he says nothing. Everybody say nothing. nothing. Everybody say nothing. nothing. Stand up and say nothing. nothing. Tell two people nothing. nothing. Some of you don't understand English very well. Let me explain the true meaning of nothing. The genuine meaning of nothing is nothing. Yes. Hallelujah. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. How come? Because the anointing is coming on your life and therefore whatever the devil has arranged, the Bible says, I give you power nothing shall hurt you. What about witchcraft? Nothing. What about armed robbers? Nothing. What about poverty? Nothing. What about corona? Nothing. What about divination? Nothing. What about car accident? Nothing. What about sangomas? Nothing. What about demonic forces? Nothing. What about poverty? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. We are about to celebrate the new year. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. So whatever, whatever the devil is organizing, even after we disperse here, if the enemy is saying, oh, they are not home, ah, let's wait for them, that power will not work against you in the name of Jesus. I say that power will not work against you. It shall not work against you. It shall not work against you. In the mighty name of Jesus. That power of the enemy shall not work against you. 2022, I am releasing you to a place where nothing against you shall operate from the kingdom of darkness. In the name of Jesus. 2022, you will not lose your job. 2022, you will be promoted instead.
you.
in their kingdom. And they will also know you in their kingdom. I said they will also know you in their kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Number three pillar is promotion. The people who have suffered in the two seasons, two years, uh, have been trusting God for their promotion. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 12. A young man was, was, was anointed. And as he was anointed, he rose. The Bible says, and he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and with all the beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, anoint him, anoint him, anoint his head, anoint his head. He shall be the head and not the tail. Anoint him, he shall be the head and not the tail. And then we saw the anointing establishing promotion. Somebody will be promoted in the month of January in Jesus' mighty name. In the month of January. I'm not talking next December. We have already entered 2022 in January in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody in this place, I release your promotion. I release your promotion in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. But in the same anointing, we learned pour the oil on his head. And then the Bible says, he shall become the head and not the tail. So as the oil is coming on your head, you are being the head. You are also going to be promoted in Jesus' mighty name. Even if you are in business, God can promote you in Jesus' mighty name. For some of you, when you hear the word promotion, you think of an employer. You don't need an employer to promote you. You need the Holy Spirit to promote you. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Amen. Number four is divine connection. I have so many people been doing business in this house, and I know other people who are doing business. You need divine connection. First Samuel chapter 10. First Samuel chapter 10 and verse number 2. Divine connection releases favor in your life. The Bible says Jesus increased and had favor with God and man. Hallelujah. It's a triune uh, angle. It's a triangle. Alright? You are here. You have favor with God and with man. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. So the Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 10, When you have departed from me today, you shall find two men. You shall meet two men. When you depart this auditorium tonight, you will encounter and meet divine helpers. Divine helpers. Divine helpers. Somebody who is still alive for your benefit. Somebody who is rich for your benefit. Somebody with great ideas for your benefit. Somebody who is out there looking for somebody to employ in the name of Jesus. Divine helpers. Divine helpers. I had a son in the house, he was working at a restaurant, and as he was serving, the family doctor uh, uh, noticed him, they started to ask him questions, who are you, what do you do, and so forth. Today, he is working under that company, he's got a company car, and he's got a flat of himself. Divine helpers. And if you are the one, you should expect more divine helpers, in the name of Jesus. He said, as I have poured the oil on you, as you go, you will meet special men. You will meet special individuals. Individuals positioned in your path by the Holy Spirit. Individuals who are blocking you until they encounter you for your breakthrough. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? I, I was introduced to a covenant fellowship in the U.S. And uh, this man of God is a bishop in, uh, in uh, Devon and he introduced me to uh, this covenant fellowship. So once in a while I join him and uh, I share uh, what God needs to, 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 uh, to share uh, on the forum. And uh, I sent a, uh, a happy new year wishes this morning. And one of the American men of God sent a message back to my father. And he says, your name sounds familiar. It sounds very unique. Maybe we have met somewhere. I don't know. But I sense in my spirit 
that there is something about you. I replied back, I said, man of God, God bless you. We'll talk later as I was rushing to come to the service. Divine encounters. You don't need to meet everybody in the mall. You only need to be the right one. You don't need to be at every place. You only need to be at the right place at the right time. Ordained by the Holy Spirit. Glory be to God. Ordained by Jehovah. That will be your portion in 2022 in Jesus' mighty name. So the anointing brings divine connection. Do not lose those connections. The devil is the one who may cause you to lose those connections. There are people who you give a business card and they are excited. They are happy, but they are careless. They now start looking, where did I put the number? Don't be like that. Hallelujah. If God brings divine people in your life, get the divine wisdom for your forward momentum so that God can position you where he wants to position you. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Say, my father, any person who is not from you, who is not beneficial, I refuse them. In the name of Jesus, say, Holy Spirit, bring my divine helpers. I need divine help. I need divine intervention. I need to go forward in Jesus' mighty name. Verse 3 says, you shall go forward. You shall go forward. We are not going back to 2018. We are not going back to 2021. We are going forward. As we go forward, everything in our lives must go forward. We are not going to wear the fashions of four years ago when others are wearing the fashion of 2022. We are going forward. Say, I'm going forward. Say, I break every resistance for me to go forward. Say, I'm going forward. My business is going forward. My money is going forward. My job is going forward. My life is going forward. My family is going forward. I am going forward. Anything in my way, I eliminate it in the name of Jesus. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I have to go forward. Say it like you are angry. Say in the name of Jesus. Say, I am going forward. Let me sh- tell you what God showed me. There are people in this place whose steps have been very slow. In the anointing, God will accelerate your steps. God will accelerate your steps. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? In the anointing you are receiving tonight, God will accelerate your steps. It was last Sunday. Was it last Sunday I did an anointing? Last Sunday or two Sundays ago. It was not planned. Two Sundays ago. I, I identified certain people who needed a touch. Yesterday I got a testimony from one of my sons in the house. He's in the house. He says, Daddy, when you pointed at us, you called us and you anointed me. I didn't know what was happening, but my life was tough. Things were difficult. But I happened to be at a place where a certain company was looking for somebody who speaks Portuguese. As we were talking, they asked me, do you speak Portuguese? He said, yes. They said, the company is looking for somebody who speaks Portuguese. Are you willing to come and work for us? He was given a job instantly. No probation. He said permanent. No interview. The interview was, do you speak Portuguese? Your interview will be the simplest. Your interview will be the simplest. Your interview will be the easiest. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody said, I'm going forward. Say by the anointing, I am going forward. No retardation, no going back, no sorrow, no sadness in the name of Jesus. Say my history will never catch up with me. I am going forward. Say my problems, they'll never follow me. I am going forward in the name of 
Lord Jesus. If you believe it, can I hear Jericho? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Finally, we have come to the place. There are many benefits. We have come to the place where we say, Holy Spirit, you are my helper. I now need the anointing. I need this anointing before I go out in the world for 2022. Hallelujah. I want to assure you before we are, you anoint yourself and we anoint you that God is a covenant keeping God. God keeps covenant. Exodus chapter 2 verse number 24 and God heard their groanings. God heard their cries. God heard their sorrow. God had their needs. God had their prayers. Is God hearing our groanings tonight? Amen. Is God hearing our groanings tonight? Amen. So what did he do? And then God remembered his covenant with Isaac, with Abraham, with Jacob, with Moab. Mention your name. Mention your name. With Abraham, with Isaac, with Jacob, with mention your name, don't be shy of your name. You are in the covenant through this anointing. Through this anointing, you are being engrafted in the covenant. It's like adoption. A person who doesn't have a child, uh, doesn't have a parent, all right, then uh, somebody comes and picks you and says you have become my, 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 my daughter. Hallelujah. I win the house. So the Bible says God heard their cry. Not the cry of Abraham. Not the cry of Isaac. Not the cry of Jacob. The cry of Israel. The cry of C.O.C. As he heard their cry, the Bible says he remembered the covenant of Abraham. It was not Abraham crying. It was not Isaac crying. It was Israel. It is us. As we cry before God, God has heard our cry. He is engrafting us in the covenant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So I have also become part of the covenant as Mono. Are you hearing me? Are you understanding me? So I'm a covenant child. So I'm a covenant child. Say from tonight, from this morning rather, I am a covenant individual. My God is a covenant God. I'm part of Abraham's covenant. I'm part of Isaac's covenant. I'm part of Jacob's covenant. In the mighty name of Jesus, say amen. So God is a covenant keeping God. So if he is a covenant keeping God, we are ready for the anointing. Let's go to Leviticus chapter 14. And I want you to follow me clear. Leviticus chapter 14. We'll pick a few verses there, then we are ready for the anointing. Hallelujah. Can I have the pastors? Pastors, stand up. Alright, with your oils. With your oil. Verse 27. You can stand in different areas. You saw the different areas with your oil. And the priests, are you there? Leviticus chapter 14, we're going to read according to the Leviticus chapter 14, verse 27. And the priest shall sprinkle, let me start with verse 26. The priest shall pour of the oil in the palm of his left hand. Ready for your pastors. In the left hand. When were the priests supposed to pour the oil on the left hand? For a reason. Amen. Then verse 26 says, The priest shall pour the oil in the palm of their left hand. Hallelujah. Are you in the house? Everybody in the house. Say, My father, I'm watching the priests as they pour the oil in their left hands. Glory be to God. Verse 27. 
and the priest shall sprinkle with his right finger some of the oil that is in his left hand seven times to the Lord. Go ahead. Seven times to the Lord. Seven times to the Lord. Make sure you count seven. One. To the Lord. Not to yourself. To the Lord. Two. Three. Sprinkle it. Don't pray over it. Sprinkle it. Take it from your left hand and sprinkle it to the Lord. Where is the Lord? The Lord is on the left. The Lord is on the right. The Lord is on the right. The Lord is here. The Lord is everywhere. Sprinkle it to the Lord. Because we want to activate a special authority for everybody in the house. Have you done seven times? If you are not sure, you can start again. There is grace in this one. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. After that, the priest was supposed to go to the people and anoint them in a special way. Amen. It was a job that would take so many hours. Maybe the whole day, maybe two days, maybe three days, maybe seven days, depending on the number of people. Are you in the house? Are you in the house? But because we are in a dispensation of grace, I release you as the priest turn around now to face you. I release you to follow my instructions and be ready to anoint yourself. Glory be to God. As they have sprinkled the oil before God Almighty, now it is our time to receive the anointing. You're going to need to remove your right shoe. You're going to need to remove your right shoe if you're wearing a shoe and socks on your right. Priests, you may sit down. God bless you. Are you ready? You need oil. If you don't have oil, go at the back. Get some oil at the back. Make sure you have oil. Make sure you have oil. Make sure you have anointing oil. If you don't have, you can get at the back there. Who is, who is selling oil at the back there? Okay, there is a deconsolid. You need to buy some oil there. It's a full anointing. Hallelujah. Are you still with me? Are you ready? I don't want to see any movements once we are all ready. Alright? Everybody sit down once you are all ready. Glory be to God. So the priests have sprinkled the oil seven times before the Lord. Seven is the number of grace. Seven is the number of completion. Seven is the number of rest. In 2022, we want to rest. We want to have peace. We want to have joy. Hallelujah. Are you still in the house? Are you in the house? All right. So the priest have released the grace to you. So as you anoint yourself, the presence of the priest is around you. Amen. The presence of the Holy Spirit is around you. Now remember the oil was designed by Moses according to God's instruction. And now the oil was instructed, put it on his head. Pour it on his head. But as we have learned in the benefits of the oil, it rises from every angle, every area for promotion for moving forward, for protection, for conquering satanic forces. Are you in the house? Are we in the house? Okay, let's move on. Let's go to verse number 28. The priest shall put of the oil that is in his hand upon the tip of the right ear. Are you there? Are you there? Let's read it together. One, two, go. Stop. One, 
unto God. And the priest shall put the oil on the right hand or the tip of the right ear. That is to that is to that is to so what is wrong with the ear? The ear is not cleansed according to that scripture. So there are a lot of people who do have ears but their ear is not cleansed. So in order for the oil to operate in your life, your ear needs to be cleansed. There is something wrong with the ear. It has to be cleansed. So the oil comes and as the anointing, the Holy Spirit comes to help us, it says the problem is when God speaks, you miss it. When opportunities arise, you miss it. When good things are happening, you don't hear. I want you not to miss it. I want you to hear. I want you to, 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 to understand the instruction. I want you to have guidance. Then your ear is cleansed. Are you understanding? Are you understanding? So as you anoint your ear, you are saying, Holy Spirit, help me to hear. If I'm in the midst of people and they're just talking mumbling, help me to hear. One day I was working many years ago. As I was working, there was a newspaper and uh, there was an advert in the newspaper of a camp I'm looking for uh, people. And uh, everybody was reading the newspaper, going through it. And this guy gave me the newspaper. He says, Don't you read this? I said, ah, no, I don't have time. And uh, then uh, I went through it quickly and I saw the advert. So I asked this guy, did you see the advert of the job? He says, ah, we all saw it. Everybody saw it. Ah, you know, ah, you know, we saw it. It's just one of those jobs. But I had ears to hear that this is the company where God will lift me and promote me. Are we here? Are you here? I am the only one who applied and bringing another friend to us. 30 people saw the advent. They missed it. You will not miss it. Amen. You will not miss it. Amen. Take the oil from your left hand and anoint your ear. I pray after me, say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, as from this anointing, my ear is cleansed. My ear is cleansed. I shall hear, I shall hear, I shall be guided in every area of my life. I will not miss my opportunity. Even if there are rumors, what is mine, I will hear it. In the name of Jesus, say, Holy Spirit, you are my helper. Speak to me, guide me, instruct me, and lead me. In the name of Jesus, my ear is open, my ear gate is open. My soul is healthy. My ear gate is open. My soul is healthy. I receive anointing to receive direction. In the name of Jesus, say amen. You will hear instruction. When others think it's just a story, you, you will notice something special for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Are you still ready? Hallelujah. Then he said, in the same verse, Take also, okay, let's read it properly. And the priest shall put on the oil that is in the hand and to the tip of the right ear of him that is to be cleansed, and and upon the thumb of the right hand, and upon the thumb of the right hand, upon the thumb of the right hand. What is wrong with your thumb? Your thumb needs cleansing. Your thumb needs God's endorsement. Your thumb needs God's register. Your thumb needs God's recognition. Not just being recognized by government. Uh, put your right thumb here, Tim. Put it here also, Tim. No, no, no. 
All that is meaningless if it has no divine progress in your life. Are you hearing? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? So when your thumb is anointed, God is saying in the holy registered book of heaven, when you are asked by the angel to put your thumbprint there, you are registered for progress. You are registered for growth. You are registered for elevation. You are registered for promotion. You are registered for good life. You are registered for long life in the name of Jesus. And the angels are witnessing around you. The document has been endorsed by your family that this is Dr. Mon. These are the blessings God has listed for them by your right hand. Put that oil on your thumb. Say, my father, my thumb is cleansed right now. In the name of Jesus, I declare the grace and the anointing upon my life. Every heavenly document that I put my hand on, anything I touch, I am blessed. When I receive my keys in this hand for my house, I shall not lose it. When I buy a car and I have keys in my right hand, my car shall not be repossessed. In the name of Jesus. When I sign documents for a contract, I receive grace. When I sign plans for my business, when I sign plans for my business, whatever I sign with my right hand, as I endorse it, I declare, Holy Spirit, you are my helper in the name of Jesus. All my blessings are coming to me in Jesus' mighty name. Can I hear an amen? Can I hear an amen? Show somebody your thumb and tell the devil, the devil is a liar in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And that was not all. Then he said in the same verse, and we started with the right ear, then the thumb. Then he says, and the great toe of your right foot. The great toe of your right foot. Some of you think your feet are not symbolic. Your feet are symbolic. The Bible says he orders our footsteps. He orders our footsteps. He orders your footsteps. The Bible says we crush Satan under our feet. Hallelujah. We crush the devil under our feet. And now the anointing is coming on our right toe. Anoint your right toe. Because it is being cleansed. So that as you walk, wherever you go, if you have a land, if you buy a house, as you walk in that house, if somebody was buried a hundred years ago, and you had no idea over the ground, every satanic thing is suffering by the anointing. Your toe is very symbolic. Your toe is the longest finger or toe on your feet. Your hands are different. Your, your, your toes are different. Your toe is the longest. In the prophetic anointing, five symbolizes the hand of God symbolizes the grace of God, symbolizes the ministry of the tabernacle. It symbolizes different aspects of the grace. This finger is the longest. And being the event longest, it symbolizes evangelism, masses, breakthrough. This is a prophetic finger. That one, this one. And so your toe being the projection of your feet, God is saying, wherever you go, I am projecting you in the right path. I am leading you into the right places. And if you step on witchcraft, witchcraft will die in Jesus' mighty name. Anoint your toe. Say, Father, I thank you. My toe is cleansed right now in the name of Jesus.
by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. When I see a house, when I enter that house, the anointing on my top will remain in that house. I shall possess the house by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. When I just drive a car and I'm sitting there, my top will leave the anointing of the Holy Spirit to buy that car in the name of Jesus. When I walk on this planet Earth, any devil, any demon working against me, it will catch fire in the name of Jesus. Somebody say Amen. Some of you ask, what about the head? Then you started talking about the head. Now we are coming to the head. Hallelujah. Verse 29. Everybody go to verse 29 and read it. Hallelujah. Let's go. One, two. Where will you put the oil? Where will you put the oil? Moses. Make the oil. Moses. Take the oil. Pour it on the head. Pour it on the head. Pour it on the head. The Deuteronomy said, you will become the head. You become the head. All these things are good, but ultimately, you must become the head. You must become the head. What's wrong with your head? It is not cleansed. Same way as your ear was not cleansed. Same way as your thumb was not cleansed. Same way as your toe was not cleansed. Your head needs the cleansing of the Holy Spirit. It needs to remove that veil where the devil has hidden you and they cannot notice you. Maybe you are trusting God for some powerful breakthrough. For some reason, the devil has hidden you. So the oil of God in the presence of the Holy Spirit comes to reveal you. Amen. So the rest of the oil that is in your left hand, the Bible says, do what? Put it, pour it on the head of him who is to be cleansed to make an atonement for him before the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you ready? You're going to have to stand up for this one. Because some of you have got a lot of oil in your left hand. You're going to have to wrap it on your head and prophesy to yourself and declare, I am the head. I shall never be the term. I am going forward. I am moving up. I will arise in 2022. 2022 is my season. It is my season of grace. My season of favor. God is on my side. Go ahead and admit yourself. Let the presence come on your head. Let the presence come on your head. Let the presence come on your head. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You are the head and not the tail. As from today, you shall no longer be the tail. As from today, you shall never struggle. As from today, you shall never ever go backwards again. As from today, you shall never fail. In the name of Jesus, by that oil of you, I provoke the anointing for headship. I provoke the anointing for inheritance. I provoke the anointing for long life. I provoke the anointing for elevation. I promote you. I lift you. I raise you in the name of Jesus. I declare that by the anointing upon your life, you are untouchable. May the mark of the Holy Spirit be upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy to you 2022 is your year to make it. It is your year of progress. It is your year of productivity. It is a year of increase. It is a year of favor. Grace is upon you. You are identified by that oil on your head. Your angels will recognize you in the mighty name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. Your testimony will be delivered to you by the oil on your head in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare progress for you. I declare nothing else but progress. I declare nothing else but progress in the name of Jesus. I declare wizards will no longer see you. I declare the devil will not locate you. I declare sacraments will be buried on your behalf. In the name of Jesus, I declare the oil on your head, the lifting on your head, the grace on your head, the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit on your head. In the name of our Lord Jesus, I declare arise.
rise and shine. May Jehovah body set it by fire in the name of Jesus. May Jehovah body Lucifer by fire. Sickness is dying out of your body. Demons are running out of your life. Running out from you because you are anointed by the head.
worship in Jesus' name. God bless you. It is well. Shalom, Abraham. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.